Hello everyone. You got the voting dragon here. You can find me on Close 71 on the Steam blockchain and Splinterlands. I'm here looking for the top five Splinterlands posts so I can curate for Steam Monsters and if you have one yourself, feel free to drop your Splinterlands link in my comments right here on, on this post of mine. And I usually see them in the mornings or early afternoons. So if it's a good post, you'll definitely get an upvote. Um, a good post just means it needs to be some art, some pictures, a good, good, good uh, length. You know, it can't be too short. And um, also, uh, there is art for you in the Discord channel. I'll show you right here. Let's go to Discord. There's free art for you to use. Any of the Splinterlands art is uh, free for you to use in your Splinterlands post. So when we go to Splinterlands, you're going to want to scroll all the way down here to Community Sharing and Steam Monster Post Promotion. So here as you see, I've checked this one because I've given it a little heart. She's getting an upvote. Uh, Shanann is getting an upvote for his post. Um, this looks like Azaria. Yeah, Azaria upvoted that one yesterday. So that's very cool. So go ahead and put your post in there. People will be checking. There's a few people that are on the curation team and they will be checking in here. I will tell you that. So let's go back now to um, one of the first posts is Crypto Talk Monday with Yabba P. Matt, who, as you know, is I know a we developer. Any, like, big new features well, Splinter Lands. Recently, um, but that's because there's like a lot of big things going on in the background. So the biggest thing is the mobile app development. We've hired a third party yeah, coming. development company that's been working on it for a few months now. Um, so that kind of takes awesome. the majority of my time. Uh, is working with them. It's coming along nicely, but there's still a lot of a lot of work to do. So our, yeah, our plan it takes a long time to do the, the uh, year. Um, a good mobile app for and a game. And then part of overall kind of our, our main focus now has been on new player acquisition. We've been talking about we want to grow the game by 10x, um, you know, grow the player base by about 10x of its current size. Yeah. Uh, and we hadn't, for the most part, really focused on that. We've been adding a lot of new features for our existing players, like the Dark Energy Crystals and the Guilds and all that stuff. Um, but now the, the mobile app is part of kind of a suite of things that we're working on that's targeted at new players and getting them on board. So in addition to the mobile app, um, kind of a big thing which we can get more into you know, today on this call if you want, is we're working on a free-to-play version. So currently you have to spend $10 by the starter set to be able to play the game, and that's a huge barrier to entry uh, for a lot of people. I can give you a promo code, though. Yeah. have come to the game and been interested, but you know, didn't want to pay the ten dollars up front to even try it out, and, and just left. You know, so we want to add uh, the ability for people to play for free. And All right, he's talking about a lot on that post. I'm going to actually leave this link on my top five post for you, and you guys can listen to this later on. This is again by Exile, and it's Crypto Talk Monday with Yabba P. Matt, and it's awesome, and everyone needs to see this, so it needs to get an upvote. It's an awesome, awesome post. Let's go now and upvote this. So we're going to go uh, right here and give a 50% upvote. 50% yes. Confirm. And then I'm going to leave a little note message here to let him know that Splinterlands was here. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I need to go to I go to Steamit to get my link. Link of the picture. Let's see, where can I go? I did pull a go for a legendary card with a hundred dollars. That's fine. We'll use that. 
All right, so let me just grab that fire curation gif. It's in right here. Okay, so now we got this. We're going to put this on. It's uploading. We're going to put this on his post. And then we'll be ready to go. All right, it's uploading. Here we go. All right, let's, let's go drop this off. Steam, speak, paste it. There we are. Now, the next one, let's see here. Yesterday, I was going to post this. Mary in Crypto Land has an awesome post about battling a chicken with the abilities. I, I really like that. I was going to upvote, but she already was upvoted. Uh, Cora Skate has a great Splinterlands post in DTube and was upvoted already by Steam Monsters. So... The next one I have here, BGI1203 is a big uh, leader and top player in the Korean community. So this is what he won here, and it's a very expensive card. <laughs> the gold Cryptomancer is a few hundred dollars. It is uh, 150 to $200, looks like he's saying right here. But that's only two, so really, you get down to the third or fourth, that's 350 once those few are gone, 300, 350, it's a very expensive card. Okay, so we are going to vote right now. Going to check something real quick on my wall. Hmm, it says he was already voted. By Steam Monster. So we go to the next one. This is DKNKYZ. Splinterland Season Reward. Um... It shows what he got here at the end of the season and what rank he ended at gold three. And he got a gold rusty android, the epic. Uh, he got the new brand new chicken, which is awesome. I have a brand new gold one and it already has a one melee. So gold is higher. I know that for a fact. Uh, Javelin throw is an awesome card. And <clears throat> those are all. Awesome. Okay, let me go to one more. Let me check this one on my wall real quick. Let's see where it is. All right, so we're going to upvote upvote him right here. To 50% and vote. Yes, we confirm it. And I will leave him a little gift to let him know that Splinterlands was here.
And now we need to find one more, since we were short for that one, BGI-12 was already have it, had it on it. Sets. Oh yeah, okay. This is uh, Shannon right here. This is uh, he's in the Russian Swinilands community, so he does a lot of work over in Telegram and has a Russian uh, Telegram uh, Swinilands, and he's talking all about translation of the new cards here. So that's a great translation, and we will upvote that right here, and we gave everyone a fifty percent upvote. And here we are. And I'll put a little curation emoji here showing that you've been manually curated. All right, so that's one, two, three. Oh, we didn't do hers yet? I thought we did hers already. Oh, huh. okay. Well, this is our this is our last one here. Anooks.nox.spt. She has some um, Pretty awesome cards here. This is a gold job and thorough mana core. Um, she's got a gold archer, another job and thorough, a new beetle queen card to have. So she she said she touched champion three. <clears throat> so those were nice. Give a fifty percent upvote. A vote, and yes. I do feel like that's my fourth one though because so really we need one more. Let me put the fire emoji here. And we do need one more, but that's four votes. Let me go to Steam World and check it out. Um, I was gonna do BGI, but it looks like someone had already voted him. Yeah, it's at 96%. Oh, and it tells you right here. Who voted? Vote post. All right. If you want to find out your information, go to steamworld.org and put your screen name in on the end. Steamworld.org slash at Steam Monsters is where I'm at right now. Um, we have one more we need to find because that's four votes. BGI 12 for 3 already had one on his. So what we do is we go to Steam Post Promotion or I go on my feed as well, or I just search Splinterlands, and let's see. A lot of people still put it in Steam Monsters too. All right, money has one up, but I just voted him yesterday. I can't. I ha I can't vote for the same person all the time, you know. <laughs> but he he has some great posts. I'm sure he'll put them in there and get an upvote from someone else, maybe. Let's go to. Um, Show more tags. Sometimes they are under Steam Monsters. Steam Monsters, let's go check it out. I'm going to do new 
All right, so. Uh, they're just the monsters posted. Talk about under 50,000 packs remaining. Huh. Okay, this is someone has a reward card. Um, reward cap. Huh, they have Steam Bay on there. Bit Pizza. It's a nice cover he has on there. I think he already used used this though. Oh, that's a nice post. Oh no, no one. Okay, great. This is great. I'm gonna vote on this now. This has a really nice uh, cover here. You guys got to make sure you put a nice cover on there so we can see it good. And this is his new season or war card editions. Features uh, the new Furious Chicken Beetle Queen, Naga Windmaster, and Fallen Spectre. This is his battle log victories. So his cards. And these are the season rewards. He did get some nice ones. The new Beetle Queen, the new chicken. Nice. Very nice, nice, nice. He has a legendary. He got a legendary. These are the top five scroll hunters. All right, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and get this one. Splinterlands. I think you dropped it in here, too, so I wanted to. I think he did. Maybe not. Bit Pizza. No, I don't see that. So that's why I do have to look. See, he's not even in there. I need to tell him next time. Put it in the. Uh, I have to tell him to put it in the. Uh, the Discord. That way everyone can see it. Just telling him he gets a chance of an upvote if he puts it in there. All right, so we are here. We got to go find Bit Pizza on. Here it is. Yes, this is a great post. All right, so we're going to vote on this one. This will be my fifth vote. So that's the top five of the day. And we're going to leave a comment that we were here. All right, and that's the top five uh, posts, Splinterland posts I found of today. Hope you all have a great day, and I will see you again, as always, tomorrow with more Splinterlands. Bye-bye.